Hey guys, sorry I'm not there today, but, well, Xander is sick, and Thursdays are a very tough day for us, so, since I'm not there to help you out, well, I'm here to help you out. Project, I'm going to be making a foreground, background, and backdrop. Now, Nom Nom lives in boxes, so I'm going to start with a box that's three inches by three inches. Now, your height and width will probably not be the same because your shape probably won't be a square. I'm doing this to keep it simple. So on my chart, I'm going to write down under foreground, under the height, I'm going to write down three inches, and under width, I'm going to write down three inches. Next, I'm going to scale this down. Now I have to use three fourths as my scale factor to shrink this down. So that means what I'm going to do is say, well, my smaller size corresponds to three inches of height. So my new height to three inches of the larger shape is three over four. Well, I'm going to cross multiply, and that's going to give me four x is equal to three times three or 4x is equal to 9, and that's going to give me x is equal to 2.25 inches. So my next layer back is going to be 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. So when I lay these side by side, you can see that my next layer back is going to be smaller. I'm scaling it down. So on my chart now, I'm going to write 2.25 inches for the height and the width. Because again, for my sample for you, I'm using the same height and my same width. Now, if this was skinnier, this would also be skinnier. And I would do that proportion a second time. The last layer in my project is the backdrop. And it's supposed to be drawn at a scale factor of three-fifths from the original. Now my original height was three inches. So I'm going to scale that down by a factor of three over five. So small is too big as small is too big. Remember with proportions there should be commonality crossed. I cross multiply so I have five y is again equal to 3 times 3 in this case, or 5y is equal to 9, or y is equal to 1.8 inches. Inches should have two tick marks, otherwise I'm talking in terms of feet. So I'm going to draw a box which is 1.8 inches by 1.8 inches. When I lay these set pieces side by side, you can see each one gets progressively smaller going from front to back. Now I'm going to add those numbers to my table. So height 1.8 inches. Let's update all of these. And 1.8 inches. So when I take a look at the way the actual project has panned out, in the foreground there's Om Nom next to his 3 inch box. Some distance behind him is the one that's 2.25 and 2 by 2.25, and in the very back is that 1.8, which in theory we think looks much further away, mostly because of a trick of the size and our desire to make everything look the same. The last part of the project asks you to calculate how big this would be if I were to take my fictional set and make it big enough for people to really act on. You pick the scale factor. Use whatever you think might work. I'm using two inches is to four feet. So, if I want to take that foreground box, which is three inches in size, and scale it up to some amount in real world feet, I'm going to do three inches is two x. Again, my scale factor is two inches equals four feet. So I will write 2 inches over 4 feet. 
cross multiply gives me 12 equals 2x. And divide, I have x is equal to 6 feet. That means in the real world, my foreground piece would be 6 feet tall. And then I can repeat that process for my other measurements. For example, I would do 2.25 inches is 2x as 2 inches is to 4 feet. Cross multiply, so 2x is equal to 9. I get x is equal to 4.5 feet. So I'm going to keep reusing this scale factor 2 inches for every 4 feet. And again, there's that scale factor, 2 inches to 4 feet. So my background is going to have to be 4.5 feet in reality. So I have how big my model is. That's the top table. And I have how big reality is. That's the bottom table. So when I look at my set, there's Nom Nom. Um, nom. He's next to a box that's three inches tall. But if I were to build this for real, that box would be six feet tall. Hopefully that will help any remaining questions you have about the project, which is still due tomorrow, Friday. You've had two weeks. If you still have questions, email, tweet, or Facebook message. Good luck, guys.